Welcome, good evening everybody, welcome to Lagging Out, I'm your host, Funny Guy. I'm here with my other host, Chieftain uh, and Zombie Killer, bringing you the latest news sure. about video games, comic books, science fiction, movies, entertainment, all things nerd, cosplay, etc., etc. Before we get started, uh, be sure to check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash lagging out. Go like our page, subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, at Lagging Out, and we want to give a shout-out to our sponsors before we get going, so I'll kick it off with give a shout-out to Gamer Gloves. Kids, are you playing the games? Do your hands get sweaty? Get yourself a pair of Gamer Gloves. Go to thegamergloves.com, use the coupon code Lagging Out, save 15% on your next pair of Gamer Gloves. F you, I'm posting it.com, the only social media outlet where you can post whatever you want without censorship. Check out F you, I'm posting it.com today. Fierce Gaming Females. They support all gamers on all platforms. We like their Facebook fan page today at Fierce Gaming Females. All one word. Or you can join their group page at Fierce Gaming Females. Hot chicks with sticks. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting better. <laughs> yes, it it's is. Better, she said. I'm your host, Funny Guy. We got some stuff going on in the gaming world. We have a lot uh, of stuff going week. on, Funny Guy. I'm going to turn it over to you, Chieftain. Okay. Uh, hey, gamers. Who out there is ready for Destiny to drop next Tuesday? I know I am. The new epic multiplayer title from Bungie comes to all consoles September 19. The Halo-esque title features many game styles for online warfare. The game types for online multiplayer are to include Skirmish, Rumble, Salvage, Clash, Combined Arms, Control, and Iron Banner as well as a mandatory solo or a co-op campaign. But don't worry, it's only mandatory for your protection. Bungie wants to make sure players have a basic understanding of the gameplay before embarking on their multiplayer experience. Long story short, no noobs allowed! No noobs allowed. Did anyone uh, play the uh, beta? I like that idea. What's that? I like that idea. Um, you know making people play, you know, a game type in a, in a solo or co-op mode before embarking on it in multiplayer. I think that's a really good idea from a design standpoint. It would be nice if there were other games that did that, you know what I mean? Yeah, Call of Duty, like, that would be great. That would be great. I, you know, that's a good example. You know, if you could play Domination against some bots, which now you can in Ghosts. Yeah. I think that they should do that with a lot more games, you know. I think it'd be cool, like, in Grand Theft Auto, if I could hop on with a buddy and we could play through some of the stuff before going into a public lobby, et cetera, et cetera. They have a lot of game types, too. I don't, I don't know the terms, though, but I don't know if you got to play actual game, the beta itself. Anyone played the actual beta? I know I did. I know I probably asked you guys before. I think Moabiti did, and I think uh, Zombie Killer did. I'm not 100% sure. Moabiti's back, by the way, guys. So. Yeah, I would like to welcome back our uh, our engineer, Moab. He's uh, back with us. Uh, that's why we're back on Twitch. We had some technical difficulties for a few weeks, but we got through it. You know, I mean, uh, you know, we made it work, and uh, you know, that's good. I can, I don't. I'm running. I'm trying to find some older documents here from past shows for some reads, but I don't have them. So okay, um, we're we, flying solo tonight. Oh. Me and Zombie Killer, uh, Zombie Killer and myself have all the pages. I have one. Okay. Do you have the one that says uh, describes all the game types? Uh, there's uh, one. I have one and it has two game types on it, and that's it. Is there another page in, in that folder? Yeah, there's like five different game types. Just explain Skirmish and Rumble to us. So. Well, I'll give you. I'll give you the lowdown on the two that are on my page here while I right. try to find the rest. I could do the rest. Uh, basically, the two game types, and they sound like you know, Skirmish is about as a as a small team tactical game type basically killing the enemy and reviving your teammates. So you're going to want to work in squads. It encourages teamwork and, you know, gives you an idea that, you know, you can't just run out there, shoot, die, and keep coming back. 
The other game type is Rumble, and it's basically FFA. We all know the rules of FFA, free for all. Free for all. Uh, you know, shoot what shoot shoot whatever uh, isn't you, and don't get shot back. So you know, it sounds kind of fun. Looks like looks like these other pages are now. This other one, Salvage, is something similar to the Call of Duty uh, Search and Rescue. It's actually called a similar similar to Search and Rescue game type from Call of Duty. Instead, uh, bombs, the bomb sites you're looking for. Let me let me just read that over again. However, instead of bomb sites, you're looking to capture relics for points. So Ooh, I like that. that that's, that's a pretty interesting twist on it. So it's kind of like Domination and Search and Destroy put together. That's pretty cool. Then another game type is Clash, which is a standard, a standard team versus team combat. So I think yeah, it's six on six to my recollection, Zombie Killer. Is that correct? Yeah, so what? Kind of like a team deathmatch kind of thing, you think? Yeah, I, I think that's what it is. I think that was actually in the actual demo itself. So, uh, Combined Arms is also a standard team versus team warfare, except in this playlist, there are vehicles. <laughs> Reminds me of Halo more, you know, because you have... I was just thinking that. You know, you have, like, it's similar to Spar you have the Sparrows, and then you have more, I think, just Sparrows right now and bigger tank types in those type of games. So... I like that. I like adding that in. That's what really I really missed in Call of Duty. They didn't really have. They kind of took that away since Modern uh, World at War, actually, and they took all that away. It's more fun now, in my opinion. You actually played the demo. That way, it's it kind of breaks out the monotony of guys running at each other and you spawning in your spawn, taking an hour to go there. So now, what? Now you how you can jump on one of these sparrows and just take off and go, or another vehicle type. So. It sounds it sounds reminds me a little bit. Halo was kind of like that. That was one of the things I always enjoyed about Halo, which they brought to Battlefield 4 recently, which is capture the flag and being able to use vehicles. And it throws a brand new element into a very old game that you, you know that I can remember as a kid playing in the neighborhood. So you know, there's nothing more exhilarating. I got to tell you, I played it ground in Battlefield one night, and a guy you know flies me in on a chopper. I hop out, grab the flag, hop back in. There's two guys on miniguns. We fly off. It, you know, it was, you know, the only thing missing was a good soundtrack. You know, that game is more fun when you're drinking, especially when you're, you can drink and drive safely in a video game. So it's a lot more fun. It's a lot more fun to me. Of like, woo! I'm doing donuts. Hey, I'm, I'm getting all these pages, by the way. Okay, cool. But I'm yeah, also I, running out of ink. So, so I, where, I where, 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 where did you leave off at? Salvage? I left off at uh, Salvage. That's correct. Okay, because I have I can now I now I can do my job. I, for some reason it wasn't. Pretty. Actually, do your we job, just did bitch. We just What's did that? combined arms. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, we did combined arms. This is why we have Zombie Killer here, folks, because she keeps us on the straight. <laughs> she's she's she the brains behind the operation. Yeah, she doesn't like it when I deviate. Yeah. So, so back to, so back to Clash. Um, no, I'm kidding. Next game type, Combined Arms. This is a basic standard team versus team warfare, except in this playlist there's vehicles. We just did that one. Oh, we I thought you did that one. Okay, no, then the next game type. The one that we just control, control, which is what control. I'm trying to do right now. Right, I was just going to say, uh, <laughs> a perfect example of what's going on right now would be the next game type, which is called Control. Destiny's answer for a domination. Two teams, three control points, I, I think we all know the rest. Is it a based on tickets or is it based on kills, though? It is actually, dom the, the uh, control is actually based on capture points. So, again, it's the domination rule, two-thirds. You take two, the two points and hold them at the regular third point. You win by not tickets like in Battlefield, which is actually a good point there, funny guy. That was a really good question. It's more like the Call of Duty type of domination. You can actually capture points, and you can actually capture points on the vehicle. So you can put an actual tank. I can hear myself in someone's. It's so and someone like not on. Someone don't have a headset or something because I can hear reverb. Do you I, have Twitch on? I don't have Twitch on. Are you watching the live stream on anything? <laughs> nope. Negative. No, you're the you're the only person hearing reverb right now. No, he's uh, not. Right no, I you. hear it too. I don't hear anything coming from the mic. It can't. I doubt it's me. I, mean, I don't know. I can still hear it. I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, it's Moab. It, it, it's Moab's fault. He comes back. I got a new computer. It's awesome. I know. Uh, you're the only one hearing it. 
Nope. Jinkies. Get an apple. Uh, Iron Banner, last off. Uh, yeah, this is a category gonna, where you're, you're just going to pile through it. Where your character comes in to put him to keep us moving. And based on your level, you'll earn rewards and new gear for your character. This sounds like a lot of fun, man. I'm totally getting the game. I'm actually going to go to GameStop. Yeah, GameStop, because you get, like, the special red sparrow thingy and special stuff at the Vanguard armor shop, whatever it's called. And I will get letters for not knowing the terms. I'm not sure if I'm going to get Call of Duty if I'm getting this. I'm not sure if I'm going to get Advanced Warfare, because this one looks a lot more fun. You know, I'm going to spend my money wisely, we'll say. that. Right. (laughs) Overall, the game looks really solid, though. In regard to detail, this game should be one of the best out there among current and next-gen uh, consoles, except for PC. Um, all worlds in the solar system players can travel to are not only huge, but the expanse or sorry, they're not only huge and expansive, but the artwork, level design, and character physics blend together beautifully and seem to create a unique experience for the players, whether it's online, a multiplayer list, or Playing through the story mode and solo or co-op campaign. What do you guys think? I personally think you've got maybe another Halo on your hands. Can we fill migraines in the chat and he's hating on Destiny already? Yeah. Uh, someone someone has to change his tampon sometimes because if it's not something <laughs> he likes, forget it. Well, what are his reasons for hating on it? Like what it, you know? Well, you know? specifically, he says Destiny looks like Bungie took what people hated about Halo and what people hate about MMOs and put them together. It made the most boring game. He said he's been playing games since uh, 1985, and he's and this sounds like the most boring concept of a game to him. Uh, and then he goes on to say that if Destiny is free to play, that would be the right price. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. I love wow. Lethal Migraine. He always has an interesting perspective on things. I guess he doesn't like the fact that they have seven different game types, and you can be three different races, and you can have five different vehicles, and have multiplayer co-op and um, you can see, I don't co-op see and that. single player I don't campaign. see that kind it's of stuff. It's not for Lethal Migraine. Come on, Lethal Migraine. Get off board the Destiny train. I got to be honest with you. It doesn't seem any different to me than like a Grand Theft Auto concept online, which is MMO and shooter and all that good stuff as well. If hanging out in a sci-fi world, see to me now that he's brought that up, I think to myself, you know, I'm not a WoW player. I'll be the first one to tell you. I'm not saying I don't like the game. I'm not saying I wouldn't play it. I just don't have a computer. Wow, is that's not good enough to play it. But but the honest truth is, is I'm more of a science fiction person. So a game like this might pull a guy like me in. You know what I mean? Some people don't like that kind of adventure when you're playing. You know, like Grand Theft Auto, running around the city and just you know hanging out and stealing people's car. You know, some people aren't into that. I understand. I have no idea what Lethal Migraine likes because every time I post something on Facebook, there's always that game sucks. I don't want that game. That game is not this game. I'm just curious on what he plays that he loves so much. Does he hate everything? Pokemon. (laughs) Betting Pokemon. I'll be I'll be honest. In the last year or so that I've been the Battlefield convert that I have. Uh, I have noticed that there's uh, definitely different different people play Battlefield as compared to Call of Duty. I'm probably going to get some emails about this. I'm so type of person that plays Battlefield as opposed to Call of Duty, and I'm being very very serious. Are you going to say? I think, uh, I think it's time to do what I didn't do, and let's wrap it up. <laughs> well, that's a topic for another show. Wrap it up. Listen. <laughs> Zombie came up with a funny. You know, hey, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's... I'll be, I'll be playing the new Call of Duty. I'm not, now lethal migraine's hating on you. Hating Ooh, on you. Hate, hating hating on, on me. He says if you don't like Battlefield, you don't have a soul. Oh, well, he's right. Oh. I don't have a soul. Lethal <laughs> migraine. I can't argue with him. He, he sold it for some coins in a rare glass. America. I mean, I'll be the first one to tell you, they're both complete, they're both diff- very, very, very different games. You've got, if you're a monk that takes a vow of silence, Battlefield's your game, because no one speaks in that game every time. That's, I- that's not true, because if, once you true. become part of that community, you, like, I have a regular group of people that I play with, we have a squad, there's a 12 of us blah, on the team. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, come on, let's move it on, because I'm getting bored as shit here, and we have some other stuff that we haven't covered yet. We've already you know what happened the last time she got bored, you know. 
Yeah, anyway, I'm going to uh, clap the shit out of you. That's what's going to happen when I get uh, bored I this told, time. I told you I might like it. All right, moving on to the wacky world of gamer news. I hope that folks you are watching lagging out here on Twitch TV, Google Hangouts, YouTube. Be sure to go like our Facebook page at facebook.com slash lagging out. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, watch the replays of the show posted every uh, Wednesday uh, after uh, the live version. Uh, and that's at youtube.com slash lagging out. Follow us on Twitter at lagging out and on Instagram at lagging out show. Are you mocking me? Is Are that what's going me? on here? He's mocking me. I'm giving you, know you the best many, reads without even really looking at the paper. Do you know how many shows he's done this and this is the first time you finally caught on? I've caught on. I've just never acknowledged it. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just jealous because he does a better read than I do. You hear about this swatting hoax? 15-year-old SWAT and gamer Paul Horner convicted of domestic, ter domestic terrorism. 25 years of life in prison article. Entirely fake. Entirely fake. No kidding. The links that were going around, actually, eventually I discovered it was, uh, the picture was from a news story of... Um, you know, quick, funny guy? There are other um, Facebook pages that are gaming entertainment pages that I will not mention their name and dignify their name and post them on here. They posted it before us without checking their sources. So Lagging Out never posted this. Just want to be clear with this. We actually check our sources, unlike other gaming entertainment Facebook sites. Go ahead, funny guy. Well, I'm just saying, we, we, <laughs> we, and yes, that is true, folks. Um, we discovered that the picture that was going around that was associated with the story actually led, uh, was from another story about a 15-year-old kid who had, uh, I think he shook a baby to death. Um, of his girlfriend. A horrible, absolutely horrible story. The fact to me that somebody would even try to turn, you know, that image into some sort of a wacky gamer, I, I, that's the one thing I don't understand about Facebook and the internet in general is, is stuff like it's that. To, it's to I make gamers look like vigilantes and or terrorists at this point. They want to make us look bad. They want to use gaming as a scapegoat or the caveat for um, bad behavior. Not all gamers are like that. Uh, no, I, I agree. I think that it's just kind of weird to me. And then, you know, people, of course, you know, they don't check to see if this kind of stuff is real. And sadly, you know, weird things like that, you know, get passed around. It, at the end of the day, it's just a game. What I don't like is that it gives people ideas of stupid shit to do. That's what I don't like. So just so you know, folks, not true. Absolutely false. There was no swatting of a gamer. Uh, the story that's going around, the picture is actually from another very tragic story in another state. So. Revolver Gaming. A clan that succeeds at being strong and unique among the thousands of clans of mundane and weak. Check out Revolver Gaming on our YouTube or Twitch at twitch.tv slash revolver GN United Today. If you like lagging out and watching us here on YouTube and Twitch and everything else, uh, do us a big favor, and it's only here on the Lagging Out Network. Check out Nerd Realm. They're the only radio show that broadcasts from the bowels of the TARDIS. <laughs> right. Check them out on our YouTube page. Uh, they have their own playlist. It's called Nerd Realm. A very funny show. We want to welcome them to our network as well. Check out Nerd Realm. Um, Xbox Box Players is a multi-platform community run by the one and only Blue Polar. They uh, welcome all gamers on all platforms, regardless of their name. Be sure to visit their group page today on Facebook at Xbox 3 City Boss Players Group. That was very well read. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> they are very active yeah. group, though. Do you, do you yeah. ever... Uh... I don't know. It looks like we lost somebody. What the hell is going on? What's going on? No one's going to watch you anyway. You guys suck. <laughs> what, what is going on? No, I have, what's, what's going on here? We have, we have some sort of, like, I don't know, interference? I don't know what's going on. I get more Are views on Twitch than you guys get in three different media channels. You guys suck. Well, oh, my God. It sounds, like, it sounds like a cartoon character. I can't place it. You know, Who that is voice this? is very familiar to me. Oh, my God. Not her. Oh, oh, this guy. It's this guy. Oh, I remember. Highlights. 
No matter how oh. many, no matter how many highlights you have, it's going to make you look oh, it's, good. Oh, it's, uh, it's like every 12-year-old squeaker on Call of Duty. Oh, look at that. Who's that What's kid? Up? He looks like a freaking Scooby-Doo character. Who is, who is this? This is, oh... Folks, well, I guess, I don't know, we've been interrupted by Camper X uh, coming to you live from his mother's basement. What, what, what can we do for you? This is the 12-year-old that busted in on us before, isn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. I met you guys at South by Southwest. There was no one at your booth. You guys suck. <laughs> I, 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 how, how did you get in on our show? How did I get in? I'm a freaking hacker. You 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 sit in a corner. You don't hack. You sit you sit and you dole out snacks. I heard you don't play ghosts because I kick the shit out of you all the time. You freaking noob. No, I just I just don't play ghosts anymore. Yeah, I was at South by Southwest. You didn't you see me? No, I think I uh, I, I didn't. Booth. I wasn't hanging out in any corners. So um. I took pictures I wasn't sitting of you. in any corners or laying down in any hallways, you weirdo. I just freak. want to let everybody know that funny guy is just as short as a Smurf. I got a picture of him at South by Southwest. Yeah, yeah I, if you weren't 12, I'd Smurf you between the uprights. <laughs> Here's a picture I took of you at South by. What? What? What is this guy? What? Look, look. <laughs> Papa Smurf took a photo of you. You're so short. You're. Freaking Papa Smurf is taller than you. I think I got photo bombed by Papa Smurf there. That's, Look at you. Uh, you like you're a photo whore. You hog up the entire episode. You talk. You talk over everybody. You don't shut the fuck up. You don't let anyone that, speak. That's my job as a host. I I I rather I rather you speak than that chick speaking because she doesn't even play video games. She's a freaking noob. I will slap the shit out of you, kid. Just imagine, this might be your kid in 10 years. Why, why aren't you, you, why aren't you in a kid? <laughs> My kid's going to come out and slap the shit out of you. Why aren't That's you what's going to happen. Something tells me he's got a problem with uh, getting his... Oh, I got a photo of you, zombie there. killer. I was Facebook stalking you. <laughs> nice. I got a photo of you in the kitchen making me a sandwich. I highly, highly doubt that one. Boom, there it is. This is where you belong. <laughs> See? Mm. Making me a sandwich, bitch. <laughs> Maybe you should have your mom make you a sandwich. Where is she at right now? Oh, my goodness. Hey, don't you have, like, a paper? I don't have you have a bed. Like a... No, you're not. Shut up the computer. No. You're supposed to be in bed by 10 o'clock. It's 10.30. Give me 15 more minutes. Don't you have... I'm coming in No, you're not. Coming in! No! Here I come! Get away! Get away! Oh, shit! Yeah, yeah. I think you have homework to do, don't you there, kid? What are you doing? No! It's my computer! I told you to go to bed. That's it. I'm at it. No! No! <laughs> Get away! Oh, justice. Slap the shit out of him. Justice has been done. Justice for the camper. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I feel like I'm going to be going to bed. I better go to bed. I, I'm kind of scared myself. Now that's that's what we call Call of Duty Justice. <laughs> call of Duty Justice for Gary Camper right here. On I can't breathe. The guy who sits in the corner. Did you fix this yet, Moab? Are we? Can we get the chief to back? What's I don't going know. on, man? Think I, I think I got it. <laughs> yeah, what happened, man? What's going on? What happened? Is, oh, is the, the show still running, that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Show's doing well. You that camper kid, right? Who'd you piss off on Call of Duty? What? Who'd you piss off on Call of Duty that's 12 who, years old? I think the more formidable question is who didn't I piss off in Call of Duty? That's 12 years old. Well, there you have it, I guess. <laughs> what is that new download pack or something? Must have pissed somebody off. Yeah. Well, what? Ha know. Like why? Why you ask? Well, that camper kid. You remember? Remember that kid that used to just bust in on our show? Oh, that Gary Camper kid. He's back. Yeah. Yeah, he's back. But this time there was some justice paid. We have to say. 
I got to tell you, man, the stuff that I've heard in that game, man, coming out of kids' mouths, if I walked in, I've said it before, I say it again, if I walked in, caught my kid talking like that, you wouldn't see your Xbox till you were married. <laughs> um, and you still wouldn't see it after you're married because you're married. <laughs> right, exactly. So basically you wouldn't be playing Xbox ever again. I'm married like, to my work. They can see it, but they can't touch it. <laughs> Whoa, that sounded kind of creepy because I only heard part of it. <laughs> Uh, I know the stream picked it up, so it's all good. I, oh, can't believe, I, I thought we got rid of that kid. I just can't believe that. Uh, well, uh, I don't know. I, th I, think, I think his mother might have done us that favor. Did you sneeze, or did you have something to say? Oh, I got to watch, no, I the, I gotta watch the replay. Gesundheit. She's allergic to bullshit, so I'll stop speaking. <laughs> oh, good one. Oh. Oh. If that was the case, I'd sneeze this whole damn show, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I wonder if it'd be safe to say that uh, that camper kid won't be um, participating in our lagging out loot giveaway anytime soon. No, no, he won't. Now, what is the I... lagging out loot giveaway? Well, well let me tell you. you. Do you want to read it, or do you want me to tell everybody? <laughs> You tell it better than anybody else in this room ever could. I, I think How it's do you story. win? What is the lagging out loot giveaway? You watch our show live, and then you wait for our trivia question to pop up on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash lagging out. I've been telling you the whole show. Unless and you if you're the first that. person to answer that question correctly, you get entered into a chance to win our end of the season lagging out loot giveaway, which is brought to you by Game Insight, Narrate, and gamer gloves. Now, what, what are they some, win? there's a ton of stuff that you can get. Well over five hundred dollars worth of really cool stuff, including and not limited to an autographed copy of the February issue Game Informer signed by Turtle Rock Studios, a I pair of that. gamer gloves, an Xbox Live card valued at forty nine ninety nine, a okay. South by Southwest lanyard autographed by myself and Chieftain, uh, T shirts, water bottles, iPad cases, all kinds of just really cool Chief gamer loves stuff. That in. So, what did you say? I wasn't even Seriously, listening. We're too busy working. What? <laughs> Nothing. You're doing a fantastic job. Thank you. Very, very fast. Very fast. Yes. Good for you. Yeah, I bet you're used to saying that. Everything's very fast with you, right? Oh. oh. Thank you. I was waiting. I was I waiting. Was trying to get I to it. That. Where's, where's my freaking drum roll, man? My... <laughs> Uh, that's not a drum roll. Oh, that's yeah, a, that uh, from, what is that? I, you know, I you would think I would know what that rim shot. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> Rim shot. Oh, Don't say that. Zombie killer. By the way, the show is not safe for kids. <laughs> yeah, not, not safe. I don't. Know. It's it's just not safe. Um, <laughs> this podcast is just like Call of Duty. It's rated M for mature, but the majority of players are ten. Uh, do you want to go ahead and tell us who the winner was the last, uh, the last trivia question? Well, the last trivia question was, who created the Game Boy best-selling game, Tetris? Pete Kaufman, Boris Pasternak, Alexei Pajanov, or D. Conrad Uno? You know who Cobra! it was? Cobra! That's incorrect. It was not Cobra. Mm -hmm. And the winner of that is a guy that we love to rip on, but... He's a fan of the show. Probably more of a fan of uh, Moa Beanie. Lethal Migraine was the first to answer that correctly on our Facebook page, so congratulations to him. You know, the funny part is he just uh, wrote in chat, add, when you were doing the giveaway stuff, he said, add Moab's autograph to Lanyard 2 to make it worth five times what it is now. <laughs> He's probably right. <laughs> hey, now. Hey, now. <laughs> hey, you know, if we wait long enough, there might be a, um, an authentic and Bill Bacord thrown in there from uh, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> no, everyone will so really draw folks, If you're really not interested in winning a bunch of gross stuff, feel free to answer <laughs> our trivia question. Speaking of gross stuff, here's this week's trivia question. What company made full on pornographic games for the Atari twenty six hundred, including Beat'em and Eat'em, Bachelor Party, and the infamous Custer's Revenge? A, Mystique, B, Eros, C, Risk, D, Risque. Vivid. Risque. Risque, is that it? Yeah. Risque. 
more of it. Risque, if you know <laughs> what I mean. I don't know. I've heard of uh, vivid videos. I know. So have I. That's a good question, though. So it is a good trivia. Very question. vivid it's question. A, it's I a got very it from good another question. website. I just don't remember. Might be a little risque. Giggity! Goo. Once oh, again, God. I've lost control. We don't have a before you go because we were told by Shady Parsley not to do it every show. So we're not going to do it before we go every show. What do you mean before we go? So yeah. let's go ahead. And, I and thank everybody for coming to the show. On behalf of Zombie Killer, Funny Guy, and Lily Raven, we would like to thank you for watching the show. And until next time. What? No, I don't think so. Because he wants to see if you're reading stuff. That's pretty funny, actually. Nice. Uh, let, let, let me change that just a little bit here. On behalf of Zombie Killer, uh, myself, Chieftain Lily Raven, and Moab. Yes, me. We would like to thank and you Moab. for tuning in here to this week's uh, episode of Lagging Out on Twitch.tv. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel here. Go like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out Nerd Realm. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and read this. This is Dick Face Killer signing off and lagging out. Lagging out.